Hi, I'm Lily Anderson Messick with the Florida Native Plant Society. Winter doesn't have a whole lot to offer in terms of blooms, but it is an excellent time to identify and report invasive plant species like this one that I'm standing in right now. This is Kogan grass, also known as Imperata cylindrica, the genus and species of the plant. It is a highly aggressive and very threatening invasive species that is spreading like wildfire across the southeast. And it is um, especially threatening because it is it grows so thickly that it pushes everything else out in the understory and will grow in full sun, it will grow in full shade, it will grow in very wet soils or very dry soils. It can also take very acid soils or very alkaline soils. So it is incredibly adaptable and very vigorous. And most importantly, it's fire adapted, which is a big problem because our native ecosystems, the majority of them are fire adapted in Florida. And that means that it can be killed by fire. And in fact, it's highly flammable, which makes it a real issue around houses or homes. And the bird. And when it does burn, it burns at such a high heat, much higher than our native plants are adapted to. So it can actually kill our native tree and herbaceous plant species. And it can even sterilize the seed bank that exists in the soil because it burns so hot. So let me give you a few tips on how to identify and how to report this aggressive invasive species. You can learn to spot kogun grass even when you're driving because of its distinctive growth habit. It spreads by underground runners and each individual leaf comes up direct from that runner rather than from clumps. So you see a very upright and very erect growth pattern that tends to be very dense rather than clumps of grasses. Also, it has a distinctive neon greenish color that is different than most of our native grasses. One of the key identifying features of Kogan grass is that one, it has the very these very sharp leaf edges that if you pull down on the edge it feels like it, it will actually can actually cut you it's very sharp it's not as sharp going up but going down it can cut you the other thing that is very telling and is different than our other native grasses is that kogan grass has an off-center midrib this midrib in the center of the blade is slightly off center and one side of the leaf blade is larger than the other. And our other native grass species, you don't see that. So that's a great identifying feature as well. So reporting invasive species is very important and it's really easy. And anybody can do it if you have a smartphone. So the two apps that I use are the I've Got One app right here, whoops. And once you create a profile, you can um, upload and, and identify all sorts of um, invasive plant and animal species. But the, we're going to go to plants and then we click grasses and Kogan grass is right there at the top because it's the most common. And you just click take a photo and you can select for, if you took photos while you were out in the field but you didn't have time to upload them, you can upload them later and the location will be saved in that photo. So I'll, since I'm right here, I'm gonna click take a photo and then I just take a photo. I can take a few photos if I want. It gives you the option to, do, to upload more if you wanted to show a panned out photo of the whole area and you enter in a little bit of information about how much area is covered and how dense the um, population is. And then you just click save. And when you're on Wi-Fi later at home, you can upload it um, to the website. The other app I use is iNaturalist. Lots of people already use this and you just click observe. Again, you could have taken photos out in the field and, up, and you can just upload them later. But since I'm here, I'm gonna click take a photo. We take one photo, use photo. And then right here, it'll say, what did you see? View suggestions and I click that. I can put in Kogan grass right here or Imperata, but it, um, its um, algorithm has, is pretty good as far as identifying based on the photo. 
and right there, Kogan Grass, and then you just click share and it automatically has included the location. So really easy to do, really important to do, um, especially important for Kogan Grass because uh, when a new population pops up, it is much easier to eradicate when it's small and they grow very quickly, become, can become very large and established and then it becomes very difficult to eradicate. But join us on Friday for our uh, Lunch and Learn talk. Uh, I'll be speaking with Brian Pelk of the Nature Conservancy and we'll be talking specifically about Kogan grass, all about its biology, why it's so um, problematic and how to manage it and new ways of treating it with uh, new herbicide blends. So join us on Friday at noon uh, through the Florida Native Plant Society's Lunch and Learn Talks. Thanks.